Alex Pereira. He has certainly maximized his UFC opportunities thus far. And I will tell you one thing. He has a cheat code. Because what happens is when you get guys that are just really good at, at kickboxing, they end up getting lost in these big gyms and become sparring partners for the top guys. But what he did was he went to a small gym in Danbury, Connecticut right. with Glover Teixeira, and he's picking up all the tricks. That is a cheat code, and that's going to be a problem for everybody to deal with because now he knows how to grapple and do all those other things because he's working with one guy who's been in the game for such a long time. It couldn't have been a, a better fit for both of those guys. Right. For, for Glover to be able to have such a high level kickboxer there to help him with his game i think we've seen the evolution that he's had we haven't even got to see what uh alex's jujitsu looks like because he's done such a good job staying away from there uh i, I think you're 100 percent correct there. i think it's a perfect fit the last time sean strickland lost a fight it was ufc 224 i believe against elizio zaleski dos santos at welterweight he has won six consecutive fights here at middleweight making his pay-per-view debut your thoughts on how he approaches this very interesting stylistic challenge we'll see He's a wild car, like he's a right. wild man, but he thinks I'm stupid. <laughs> he thinks everybody's stupid. Most people are, but I think he's fooled. <laughs> I think he's got everybody fooled. I think he's gonna go out there. His IQ is a lot higher than what he projects it to be. He comes out, he talks crazy, but he's a smart, smart fighter. You only lose three fights out of, what, 28? What is right. it, 28? 25 and 25 three, and three. You, you don't have a record like that if you're a dumb fighter. He's gonna come out there, he's gonna fight the smart fight, and I think that he's gonna do what he needs to do in order to stay safe and not get knocked out. I, I'm not sure that that's gonna happen, Dean. I really don't. I think he's gonna walk him down. I think he's gonna close the distance because I think the further you are away from Alex, the more danger you're in. I think he's gonna do what he always does. He's gonna walk people down. He's gonna get into range. He's gonna get inside of those nasty kicks. And it, he does a really good job of not taking damage. You know, he, it, for as many dangerous strikers as he's been in there with, he does a good job of not getting hit too hard or too clean. Uh, I think that he's gonna keep that same game plan. It's working. It's been working up to this point. It's worked the last six. Uh, I don't see him changing anything can I get a prediction from you fellas money to be made on both I, sides I'm going to go with Strickland I'm going I, th I think Strickland is is smart enough to get this done the right way he's not going to take a lot of chances like he like we think he will I think he's just going to say you know what I got to get this job done uh, I, I'm going with Alex strictly strictly because I don't think Sean Strickland <laughs> has the wrestling ability to take him down or hold him there and Clover Teixeira has said to us repeatedly just how physically strong Alex Pereira is likely is going to need some of that physical strength against Sean Strick. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.